Yeah, my name is Legitive Eve, okay? So now, I want to really talk about something briefly, which is, if you're a Christian ladies and you want to get married to a Muslim man, my dear sister, there are a lot of things you got to know. I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm trying to tell you the fact about it. You understand? If you're a Christian ladies and you want to marry a Muslim man, before you say yes to that Muslim man of yours, that man of your dream, Listen to this video from the beginning to the ending and you're going to understand me. And after listening to this video, sit yourself down and think about it. Oh, can you do it? Can you finish it? Because marriage is not a bed of roses. It is full of challenges. And also, marriage is not, oh, I, today is the end or tomorrow, except death comes, you understand? So that is why I just took my time out to really explain. If you are a Christian ladies and you want to marry a Muslim man, there are big difference. What did I say? I said there are big word difference between a Muslim and a Christian. Totally different, yeah. So if you're a Christian ladies, listen to this video and you're going to learn. Yes. And I'm going to mention them one after the other. What I mean by that. If you're a Christian lady, after listing, after after I list everything out from here, you sit yourself down and think about it. If there's something you have to adjust or you have to do, just do that okay before you say yes to that man of your dream it is really really important okay first of all if you're a christian lady there are a lot of things that will change about you yeah there are a lot of things that will change about you like i said before there's still the big difference between muslim and a christian okay because you are the lady you will step down for the man you understand because the said man is the head of the family and whatever the man says stand that is why i said if you are a christian ladies listen to this video and you're going to understand what i'm talking about first of all the way they worship god is different from the way christians does yeah in their own muslim way they call it allah white christians way they call it god so you see the difference and not only the names and also the way they worship is totally different from the way christians worship christians can worship by standing by praying, by standing, by laying down, you know, by lying down. Why Muslim? They normally, uh, I don't, I hope you know what I'm talking about. They normally lay the way they worship is totally different from Christians. So if you're, if you're a Christian ladies and you want to get married to a Muslim man, can you do that? You understand? Because the man will teach you how you are going to work to do that. Whether you put your head down, your 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 buttor and all those things are up. You understand? It's, so if you know you don't know the way they worship ask someone that is closer to you in your area they will understand they will explain it better than the way i'm the one doing, than the way i'm doing okay so that is way the way they worship is totally different from the way christians worship so if you're a lady think about it can you accept it can you just sacrifice this because of love and all those things because when you enter into the marriage you're going to face all these things i'm going to mention you understand you're going to do them it's like by force so that is what I mean by that. So first of all, the way that I worship is totally different from the way Christians worship. So always have that in the back of your mind that when you got married to that man, you are going to change your Christianity way to Muslim way, okay? Second one is what? The way they dress. Yeah. The way their women or their men dress is totally different from the way Christian man or Christian woman dress. That is just the facts. Nothing but the facts. I'm telling you the facts. I'm telling you the difference between Christians and married. Uh, Christians between, the difference between Christians and Muslims. That is just the fact, you understand? So, the way they are dressing is totally different. If you are that kind of lady that love flashy things, that love long hair, that love makeups, that love all those wearing jewelry, all those, you know, flashy things, like I said before, it is going to be really difficult for you. But I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm trying to tell you the words. The fact, yes, you understand? So, that is just it. The way they dress is totally different. You understand? They cover from their head to their toe. They have even their hands and everything is being covered except their hands and just their little part of their face is being shown. You understand? If you're that kind of lady that love wearing all those showing a little body, like summer times, you cannot, if you're a Christian, you cannot just cover her, your body from your head to your toe. Think about it. So that is it. The way they worship is different. The way they dress is also different. And also their food. Yeah. Their food type is also what different you understand i'm telling you their food the way they cook the way they do their things are totally different you understand come to celebration time another point again celebration yeah the way you as a christian celebrate is totally different from the way muslim people celebrate yeah let's say for example somebody died the way the the christians normally do their barriers and all those things is different from a muslim man you understand 
So that is it. I'm not lying. Find out yourself. You understand? Even marriages, when it comes to marriages, the way they do their marriage is just totally different from their Christian's marriages. You understand? Because in, in, in most of them can just take a little money and just arrange his you know, marriage in a portable way. But Christians, you know, white guys, those things, you know, they are always what? They. Another point again, don't forget that they don't marry one wife. They marry more than one wife. I know you may say, ah, Christians also do that. Yes, Christians also do that. But when it comes to Muslim side, I bet you cease. They're going to have more than two or three. But I'm not scaring you, but I'm telling you the fact. Okay? So that is it. On another point again, we're actually going to what? Check out for. Okay? They have more than one wife. Their behavior is also what different. Yeah. Their behavior are also what different. They, are all, they have their own way they behave. I'm telling you the fact. Because when you go closer to them, I bet you, you will tell me oh, what I say, what I'm telling you right now is just the fact is the truth that ways and their belief on those religions things are all are totally different from you girl you understand so there is a big 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 difference okay i don't want to go in detail about this but you i just want to mention them few because if you are a lady and you want to get married to a muslim and sit yourself down think about it because a lot of things about you girl is gonna change you understand you are a woman and you are going to submit to that man okay so always have it in mind that he's going to marry more than one wife and also you are going to change your own way of dressing you are going to help those your makeup things and other things you are going to change them you understand so that is why before you got married to that muslim man think about it you understand think about it if you think that you can adjust or you can do, you understand, before you can say yes. It is really important before you enter into marriage, you have to find out if there are things you can do, you cannot do, so that you discuss with the man and the man will know yes, he will know your opinion and you know things about you. You got to know things about him too. So there are a lot of points at the but I just decided to bring out these few points, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.